Hello, my name is Veronica and I'd like to show you the beautiful Martha's Vineyard Island. I used to live here for almost 10 years. Last time I came here in August 2013 with my friend Larissa, who lives in Providence, Rhode Island, and we had a blast. This is a very special spot. This is a jaw bridge. Where the famous thriller film Jaws was directed by Steven Spielberg and filmed in 1975. The movie was about this massive great white shark who terrorizes beach goers on a resorted island. This movie Jaws became Hollywood's very first blockbuster and it was filmed right here under this bridge between the towns of Edgartown and Oak Bluffs right along the water. The iconic first horror film went through some production troubles but stayed number one for 14 straight weeks. At the time Steven Spielberg was just 28. The production had been as sloppy as its ocean waves. The mechanical shark, by the way nicknamed after Spielberg's lawyer, Bruce Raymer, kept breaking. Shooting schedule kept postponing. Spielberg realized how difficult it is to shoot on water. But at the end, the very first summer blockbuster grossed more than $100 million at the box office and made history. The multicolored clay cliffs, which called Gayhead Cliffs, are at the western end of the island of Martha's Vineyard. The cliffs rise 150 feet above sea level and, due to their outstanding contribution to our national heritage, were designated a national landmark in 1965. If you read this sign, it says that they are prone to erosion, so it is prohibited by law to walk or climb on cliffs. Years ago, in 50s and 60s, you could see brilliant display of red, yellow, black and gray. But unfortunately, the cliffs have been disappearing at the rate of about uh, 2 feet per year. It's because of rain, natural erosion, actions of people. Often, the ocean water near the cliffs is tinted with the colors of that clay that has been washed down. This beautiful beach is called Mosha Beach and this beach is located on Gayhead Point and don't be surprised it's a nude beach open and tolerant about its nudity. Uh, just follow, follow my camera, follow me. Uh, Hi guys! Uh, you? Look at this guy, can you film me on the past? Oh, I don't. Oh. For Russian channel for YouTube. What should I say? Um, something in yeah. If you want to meet lots of Russian women, come on, come on, let's go. What are you guys doing? What's just something you're wondering? Um, uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> oh, really? War yeah. paint. Wow, oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. Morning, oh. That's okay. That's fine. She's cute. I have um, a friend of What do you think about those people, guys? Huh? Um, and, you know, I wanted to do it to get the full effect. Of the like tribal, yeah, but like, play, yeah. yeah, but like it didn't work. I don't want to... That was an interesting conversation, wasn't it? So, um, at the entrance to the beach, most swimmers are families with children. But down the beach, the scene quickly changes. As you can see, this is a nude beach for everybody, and everyone goes here men, women, couples, families, gay, straight, everybody. My friend is being blown away with the view, she compares it to Egypt or Greece. There's a lot of naked people though. Have you seen them? No, we have not! Oh, I'm not here in this place. Oh my god! Rick, what do you think about all these crazy people? It's a beautiful day here on my street. Yeah, ready to Oh, yeah. Choice, almost like Sophia's choice. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> What's my choice? Sophia. Here we are looking at the beautiful Gay Head Lighthouse. An island treasure with a long and rich history is at risk now. 
It currently sits approximately 50 feet from a roading cliff and experts advise it must be moved within the next two years. Now my friend Larissa is coming back and saying that she loved the beach and had fun meeting nudists on the beach and that it's cool that we could have fun while the ex-husband was watching kids. And I replied, what ex-husband? <laughs> We had a quick stop in Menemsha, a little fishing village. The oysters here are $21 per dozen, and little necks and cherry stones are $12 per dozen. And the oysters in Menemsha are always the freshest. In the next video about the vineyard, I will show you the elimination night the President Obama was watching this year of 2013, gingerbread houses and a surprise. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye!